Sagittarius, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this, Saggy, trust that there is a message here for you. If you're a regular Saggy, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya. I am an intuitive tarot reader and really looking forward to bringing through this message for you. I do like to frame up with a couple of oracle cards and then I'll work with the full tarot deck to let you know that sometimes the whole reading resonates really powerfully. It feels like a personal reading. Whilst that is really cool when that happens, it is not, uh, you know, going to happen every time for you. Sometimes it's just the piece that you need to hear that can really shift the needle in your life. Occasionally nothing will resonate and hey, that's okay too for a general reading. Just leave it for somebody that it does. Now you're being told here that your commitment is being tested, Sagittarius. So maybe your commitment to something that, you know, you have um, you know, chosen to move forward with. It could be a commitment to a relationship, a contract, a plan, a goal. You know, we know that anything that we want to create, you know, takes, you know, hard work, it takes effort, and it can get really challenging. So this could be, you know, do I push through or not? You know, um, let's see what else comes through. I'm working with the Divine Initiation Oracle here. And then I will work with the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot and Sagittarius. I will link you to both of these beautiful tarot decks down below in case you do want to add them to your collection. Okay, I have got Protect Your Energy. And it's funny how both of these cards are in that sort of the indigo and violet colors, which for me are, you know, third eye and crown chakra energy, which, you know, can be, um, you know, protecting our, our vision, protecting our psychic energy, protecting ourselves from um, the energy of others as well. Uh, you know, when people are, let's say, naysaying or, you know, projecting onto us their own feelings, that can also really impact us so you're being asked to protect your energy okay your commitment is being tested and you're really needing to come back to your own authentic truth your own you know anchor stay very grounded in this process I'm intrigued let's keep going Sagittarius and see what we get here all right, full tarot deck, protect your energy, your commitment is being tested, maybe somebody is really challenging you here, yeah, judgment, we sort of see that the tower indicated in these cards as well, so it could be that you feel like things are crumbling around you a little bit, and I just get the sense that you need to make some powerful judgment calls, so it could be, you know, that if you are working with somebody else, um, or you are associated with somebody else and this, you know, could be in a relationship, it could be in a business context, right? This is a general reading, so please apply it to your situation. That maybe they are not supportive here or, or not working with you or you're not in alignment. You might have really different values or you're not on the same page. Hence, your commitment is being tested. So you have two choices here to have that open conversation. Hey, are we still united here? Do we still want the same things? Are we still all in? Or is this time to make the judgment call to free yourself, right? So that then you can enter into your next profound cycle because judgment is the second to last card in the major arcana that talks about um, the potential of a cycle, a really big one, closing. And I sort of see this portal of change here and this beautiful violet energy. And um, I just feel that, you know, your guides are also sending you signs at this time. Four of Pentacles, yeah, and the Four of Pentacles is, but yeah, I feel like I've got to hold on to this, right? Because maybe the confidence might be lacking for you to actually step up and, and go your own way or to lead the charge on your own or to, you know, become single or independent or whatever it may be. So the Four of Pentacles is asking you to really you know, to really come back to your truth and ask yourself those hard questions, but also to be powerfully vulnerable in this time. Again, the Four of Pentacles can talk about protecting your energy, specifically protecting the heart space, but sometimes it can uh, nod to our physical, you know, resources as well, like our money, our stability, our security. So your commitment's being tested. You need to ask yourself some important questions here and I think make some big judgment calls and that can shift the wheel of fortune in your life. This is a gorgeous energy coming in and um, it's the Jupiter energy and that can bring unexpected shifts and changes like you might not have 
uh, expected this to happen or seen it coming like you didn't see this coming but here it is and we have to respond to the challenge so it could be that somebody that you've entered into this with whether it's an organization or like I said a romantic partner or somebody that you're trying to create with you know you might not have seen their true colors until now right and now you need to protect your energy and make the right decision and that decision can change everything and can lead to major expansion within this uh, situation for you so the wheel of fortune associated with good luck good fortune but it's usually through you know profound shifts and changes and that's what leads you to the page of wands that's good news this is good news that takes you on a new adventure. So your commitment's being tested and I also feel that before you kind of got to this point that maybe you're feeling really challenged, you could have been at a bit of a stalemate or it could be that growth was really lacking, that we have a real sort of like a flatline energy here. But we've got the Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Wands. This judgment call is going to be really good news for you and take you on a whole new journey of growth and potential. Knight of Cups, okay. And there could even be along that road somebody new that enters your sphere here. Somebody who you can trust, somebody who's loyal, somebody who's honest, somebody who has a sense of purity, authenticity about them. Okay, so, you know, and that can apply to love context or the other context that we have talked about. But I just get the feeling that somebody is not operating in your best interest and you are going to need to make the judgment call. Your commitment's being tested for a reason and this can absolutely shift things for you. It will be really good news what you decide based on your truth. And I just feel that down the road, there'll be new opportunities, people, invitations, proposals, signified by the Knight of Cups that can lead you back to that beautiful result, that fortune, that good luck, that positive outcome that you're really hoping for. So I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading. Do keep in mind it's a pers uh, not a personal reading, it is a uh, general reading, so parts may resonate, uh, all of it may resonate, but if you would like to follow up with a personal reading, the first link down below will pop you over to my website, you can check those out. Uh, I'll also leave links to my Instagram and TikTok, really active and interactive with daily content on those platforms. And also my Learn Tarot resources. I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide. I have an introduction course and I have my Deep Dive Signature course. Uh, so I'll let you just uh, check those out in your own time. I'm sending you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.